Question six asks us to define the watt. So the watt is the unit of power, and we know that power equals work or energy divided by time. And the unit of work is the joule. The unit of time is the second. So one watt is equal to one joule per second. Part B introduces us to an electric crane that is being used to lift some bricks, the bricks of a mass of 700 kilograms through a vertical height of 8.5 meters in a time of 45 seconds. Uh, it tells us the efficiency of the motor driven crane is 30%. And the first part of the question asks us simply to calculate the gravitational potential energy EP gained by the bricks. It's only worth one mark because this is a simple uh, application of a, an equation question. So EP equals MGH. Our mass here is 700. Multiply that by 9.81 and multiply that by our height of 8.5, which gives us an answer of 5.84 times 10 to the power of 4 joules. Part II asks us to calculate the output power of this crane. We know that power is equal to work divided by time. And the work done here is going to be equal to the gravitational potential energy that the bricks gained. So our power is going to be equal to 5.84 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by the time taken here, which is 45 seconds, which will give us a power of 1. 0.29 times 10 to the 3 watts. Finally, part 3 asks us to calculate the input power to the motor driven crane. We know that the efficiency is equal to the useful output power. divided by the input power, or the total power as it's sometimes written, times 100%. Therefore we can rearrange this to find our input power is equal to output divided by efficiency So that's 1.29 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 0 0.3 because our efficiency is 30%, which will give us 4.3 times 10 to the power of 3 watts. 